Everybody, let's get started tonight with our first challenger. Please welcome Greg Caplet. Hey, Greg. How are you doing? Good to see you. Hey, Greg. How are you doing? Welcome to Wanna Bet. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Greg. Where are you from? I'm from Chino, California. Chino? Yep. Like the, like the pants? Like the prison. Now, you know that's interesting <laughs> because in the UK, Dex from a place called Denham, and I'm from a little village called uh, Polyester. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and you're from, you're from Chino. Ignore yep. him. Like, and they're like pants. Ignore him. And where we live is like pants. Ign shut up, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Ignore him, Greg. What do you do in Chino? Well, for the past 11 years, I've had my own automotive shop, and I've been involved in the auto industry for over 35 years. Well, we're about to put that to the test, because Greg's claim involves these neatly stacked cubes of crushed metal. Each one of them, in its former life, was an automobile. Yes, the prized possession of a loving collector, a carpool driver, or a little old lady from Pasadena. <laughs> How many little old ladies do you know in Pasadena? You'd be surprised. I bet I would. <laughs> Greg's claim is that he can identify the make and model of the car just by the smallest detail, even after it's been compacted into one of these cubes. In fact, Greg claims he's so good at it that he can identify the make and model of four out of five cars. Isn't that right, Greg? That's correct. Panel, what do you think? Each of you will start with $25,000 to bet any way you want. Tell us if you think Greg will succeed or fail and how much you want to bet. Now, we don't want to hear how much money you've risked, but we do want to know whether you predicted Greg would fail or succeed. George, we'll start with you. He's going to succeed on that basis. You think? Yeah. Do you think it's a succeed? You, uh, you, seem, you seem pretty confident about that. I just like the cut of his jib. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, a positive start from you. We Thanks, George. We can have George. a beer afterwards. Yeah. OK. <laughs> he likes the sound of that. Shandy, what do you think? I think Greg is going to succeed. Really? Absolutely. I succeed from Shandy as well. Tom, over to you. What do you think? I, I actually agree. I said succeed as well. You yeah. did? Yeah, I did say succeed. What do you think, Monique? You know why he's going to succeed? Why? Because he looks like Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> and Santa Claus would not tell a lie. He is going to <laughs> succeed. I'm depending on you for success, please. <laughs> Succeed. <laughs> Four succeeds, and it looks like Greg is ready to start identifying the cars, so let's get going. <laughs> Very best of luck, Greg. Thank you. The bet is on. <laughs> OK, let's pick the first car Greg will take a look at, and it is... ..number nine. Greg, if you'd like to... ..do your stuff. All right, I think oh. I'm ready. Okay, okay nice, nice and quiet, please. Let's hear what Greg has to say. Talk us through it. Well, certain things that I look for is one, is to see how many uh, lug nuts are on the wheel here, because it gives me an indication of the size of the car. And in this case here, we got a five lug pattern, so it's kind of almost a mid-sized car, but it's only two-door car. So it's not that large a car, which indicates a little bit more powerful motor, perhaps. The make on this one here, I would guess to be a Ford, and uh, my guess on this one would be a Ford Probe. You said Ford Probe. It is Ford Probe! <laughs> the panel is very happy. Let's, let's select our next car, and we want number eight. There it is over there. Down here. In your own time, Greg. Well, this one here was fairly easy to identify as a Ford. It's got the classic little antenna that the Fords were so common with and a little starter solenoid sitting up here. And there's a dual exhaust system down here, which indicates a V8-powered engine. So I'm guessing this one to be a Ford Mustang. Ford Mustang, you say, OK. Yes. It is... Ford Mustang! Yes! <laughs> two out of two. Okay. Very well done, Greg. Let's select our next car. We want to go to car... Ooh, one. Number one. Which is... Just yeah. there, Greg. 
Over to you. Start looking for clues. Two out of two so far. Remember, Greg has to get four out of five. So it's a great start. Well, this one here is a four door. You got two door handles on it. Again, the five lug pattern on the wheels. It's indicative of a mid-sized car. The uh, remainders of the taillights in the back here suggest to me a Ford Taurus. Ford Taurus. Mm -hmm. It is Ford Taurus. Well done, Greg. A really good start. That's my car. Remember, Greg has to get four out of five, so if you get this next car, you succeeded in your challenge. Right, let's pick the next car to go to at random. And the next number we want to go to is number 11, which is over there. This one's going to be really tough to identify. Okay. Okay. Come on, Greg. What have you been looking for on this particular one? Again, mid-size four-door car, so something along those lines. The tail on this one here was a little knobs for picking up the door handles with. It's pretty easy to identify as a Chrysler product. Now, the difference is going to be whether it's a Chrysler or a Dodge. Based on the bumpers, I'd have to guess it as being a Dodge Stratus. Dodge Stratus. Okay, Greg says Dodge Stratus. If he gets this right, it will be four out of four and he will have succeeded in his claim. Oh! Neon. Close. It's a Dodge Neon. Okay, well, you have to get this next one right to succeed in your challenge, Greg. You can do it, Greg. Let's choose the next car at random. And the next car we're going to go and look at is car number seven. Lucky number seven. Where right. is it? Let's hope it is. There it is. Just down here. All right. I'm feeling real strong. Strong? Yeah. I'm feeling real strong about Greg. Yes. Come on, yes, Greg. real strong. Come on, Greg. I actually believe I have one of these, although it doesn't quite look like this. <laughs> But this here is a little coolant pipe because this was a rear engine car and it's mostly made out of plastic and fiberglass that only leaves a Pontiac Fiero. If this is a Pontiac Fiero, then it is a succeed. It'll be four out of five. Greg will have done it. Yes! Yeah. 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 Well done, Greg. Thank you very much. Wow. Greg, everybody, he succeeded. Well, let's see how much our panel wagered. George, you predicted succeed. You were right to do so. You yep. win your bet. But how much did you wager? Uh, $6,250. $6,250, oh. which takes your total up to $31,250. Uh, it's all about the lug nuts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he did succeed. And uh, you're going to share a beer with him after the show, then? Indeed. Absolutely. There yeah. you go. <laughs> there you go, Greg. Shandy. You also said succeed, which means you win your bet. How much did you bet? I bet 20000 Oh! Wow! $20,000! I want trouble. $45,000. Now we got to pick it up a little bit. Great start. There we go. Tom, new game. you yeah. also said succeed, which you win your bet. Did you bet $20,000? I, I did not. Uh, I bet $6,000. $6,000 from Tom. Which takes his total up to $31,000. Monique. What? You also said succeed. <laughs> I did. <laughs> you did? I did. How much did you bet? I bet. Mm -hmm. Not enough. I didn't bet enough. You shandy. You bet $1,200, which takes your total to $26,200. Uh, oh, with a whopping $45,000, it's Shandy. Wow.